Hey guys, I'm Sean Darling and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing some work in Moho Pro, so stick around. We're going to learn animation in Moho and animate everything in Moho. It's easier than using a yo-yo, yeah. Now it's time to learn to use Moho. All right, here we are in Moho, and I'm going to show you how we can do a faster uh, version of shading and highlighting character. So I've already got uh, this body color put together here. What I'm going to do is come over and right click and duplicate my body uh, layer. And this is just the body color. And I'm going to put a uh, shadow. I'm going to call it shadow. And then on this layer now, <clears throat> I'm just going to come in because it is a duplicate. I'm going to come in and touch the shape uh, to select the shape. And then I'm going to come in and change its color to a darker version like so. The whole thing's going to turn dark. The whole body is going to turn dark because that's a second layer over the top that is now darker. But we're going to come in with our eraser now and just kind of erase the parts that we don't want anymore. In fact, we can just come through and get rid of all of this. Make sure we can go up here and uh, get everything that might be up there. And just sort of adjust the edge to be more like, uh, you know, jagged like you would want that to be. And when you let go, you're going to only be left with that part right here, which you can, of course, run reduce points on whatever you want. But we now have this shadow, which can be put above anything else that's there and now we can even go back in with that eraser again put this like maybe at a 0.01 for a smaller size brush and just come in and you know jag it out even a little more because let's say this is a, supposed to be a rougher edge kind of like so You can even throw in some some bits like this is the extraneous fur or whatever you know bits that are being hit by the light and and so on you get the idea and then when we go back in to do our um, highlights it's exactly the same way we just go back to the body layer because we're gonna use the whole thing right click duplicate that layer we're going to call it highlight i'm going to move this uh above everything we already have one here but i'm going to get rid of that because that was an old one that i was testing it on uh, just like before you want to select the shape of the body which is going to be everything it's going to be hard to tell in the color and then you're going to want to come over and select a lighter color than the body and now everything's going to turn light, but then you come in with your eraser once again. So we're going to want to erase everything we don't want. So we can even take a little of this edge off here and then come back on leaving, you know, a little sliver of that like so. And then we just go ahead and get rid of everything else. It'll look like you're erasing your drawing, but you're not. Matter of fact, you can stop and start anytime you want. And when we clear that out, you can see we are left with this uh, highlight piece here. And once again, you can also go in with the eraser, change this down to 0 0.01, and detail some of that breakup again. Look a little more broken up. And there you go. That's going to be the kind of highlight and shading. Uh, you can add another layer of this in just the same way by going to my body layer. We're going to duplicate it again. And this will be body light shade. So it's going to be like a medium between the two of those. So I'm going to put it on the top of the shadow. 
and then we can select the whole thing again and kind of pick a color that's between the darker color and the lighter color and that's just a matter of you know something in the middle like that so you're going to want to put that behind the shadow and now i'm going to come in with the eraser again let's go with a 0 0.05 and this is going to be our middle shadow so we're just going to kind of do this and get rid of everything up here and you can do this as many times as you want so that it gradiates uh, off and if that's not light enough of course we can select that piece now and come in and just bring it up a little bit to uh, so now we have a little bit more of a gradual change we can do the same thing with the head we can do the same thing over here if you wanted to add a little more of this in it's very simple on the same layer we're just going to come in with that blob brush and just you know create a little little bit more of that right here and there we have it and of course we can come in with the eraser again and shape off any areas we don't really want to have that simply and for the the belly um, spot we can actually do the exact same thing I'm going to put it above the shadow now and I'm going to duplicate that layer and this will be belly spot shadow and remember this will be exactly the shape uh, as the piece that you've just duplicated because it is that piece and I'm just going to make a darker version of it here and then we're just going to go in with the eraser and chip away you know what needs to be gone leaving behind the now shadowed area so that's a little tip for you hopefully that works there'll be more coming uh, but that's what i got for today all right have a good one we're gonna learn animation and mo and animate everything